Right, let's uh, welcome first of all then the director of the Twilight Saga New Moon, Chris White. <laughs> and next up we have as Bella, Kristen Stewart. <laughs> and as Edward, Rob Pattinson. And as Jacob Taylor Lautner. Okay. <clears throat> so, how is everybody today? Very well. Uh, speaking for myself. Thank yeah, you. Good. Down the end, then. All happy. All right. Yeah. Um, so, uh, I guess we should start uh, before we take some questions from from the audience. Uh, just with you, Chris, you're the, the new boy to the franchise. Mm. Um, how prepared were you for the the excitement, the hysteria that comes along with a, a, a new Twilight film? I'm always prepared for excitement. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I, I was I was quite unprepared uh, when I when I was offered the the chance to direct. I I had never read um, any of the books, and I hadn't seen the movie like many people with a Y chromosome. And, um, uh, and I thought, well, I better do some catching up. And so the, the, I went to see uh, Twilight, and um, I thought uh, Taylor and, and Rob and Kristen were great. So that was the first inducement, was uh, a young cast that I thought well, I, I could work with, that I'd be interested in working with. And then I read the book, and it had, um, uh, I like making movies about depression. Uh, it would seem, <laughs> and so there were these wonderful kind of uh, dark uh, tones to to what could be done on film, um, as well as uh, as some some challenges that that I felt I could handle uh, the the CGI required in making the werewolves and and uh, being able to shoot on location in Italy, which I knew was going to be fun but very challenging. Um, so that's a rather comprehensive answer to a simple good question. Answer. Yeah. yeah <laughs> And how about you guys? Because this is you did this last year, about this time last year, in fact, with the premieres and the, and the parties and the, the screenings. So you're very familiar with this now. Or does it constantly surprise you the, uh, the excitement that comes with this film? Who wants to answer? I mean, Taylor's the newest one to it, so maybe Taylor, answer yeah. because. Um. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess after Twilight, we expect anything, but it's still a constant surprise to me. I'm always surprised by the fan reactions and the amount of fan support we have behind us. Just because none of us expected it when we were filming Twilight. Um, coming into New Moon, it was a little different feeling, but uh, yeah, it's, it's great to know we have that kind of support behind us. Is that something that you think about while you're making the movie, or is it literally when it's come out and you're now actually interacting with people that it becomes obvious? Because obviously there's lots of you know um, stories coming out about the movie whilst it's still being made. Right. For plans. Yeah. I, I would definitely say it's a mixture of both. Absolutely. Um, we'll take some questions from the audience then. Uh, these are all very quick, but there's a lady over here who's first up. So we'll we'll just we haven't got microphones because it's quite a small room, um, but we'll just wait and uh, try and do it without anarchy erupting. So uh, we'll start out over here. And if you just want to say you know wh where you're from, who you are. Yeah, Alison Jones from the Post. Um, it's a question for Christian. to miss something, it has to go away. It, if, it, it, it was almost easier, it was easier to play Bella in New Moon because I got the chance to go through the experience of Twilight. I, I do think that the movie sort of stands alone if Twilight, if it wasn't a sequel, the movie would still make sense, but I wouldn't have been able to play it because I wouldn't have known, I wouldn't have known hypothetically because obviously I don't know what it feels like to you know, be in love with a vampire and, and feel literally physically altered. But, uh, it's because the descriptions in the book are so visceral and censored, literally. I mean, it's first-person narrative, so you know sort of exactly what she's feeling all the time. I, how we maintained intensity, I don't know, it, 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 the story is really intense, and that's what we're supposed to, supposed to do. There's a question here. Hi, I'm Jan Gilbert, New Sea Cambridge, and to Chris and the cast. Um, how much interaction did you have with the Twihards, both while you were making the film and also since you wrapped? Um, well, I, yeah, I, I, 
apparently I should have been scared of the tryhards the whole time. Uh, and the, the main question I get uh, is is how much pressure did I feel uh, given the, the fan base? But actually, I found that they've been extraordinarily uh, supportive of me. I, I put myself on complete media blackout while making the film because I am the person who will be up at three in the morning having a heated discussion with a fourteen-year-old <laughs> from uh, Norway. Um, <laughs> so. Uh, but but since the movie uh, wrapped, um, I've um, become a horrible Twitter addict, um, and uh, uh, the reaction to the footage that has come out has been extraordinarily uh, encouraging. Um, so it, it's actually been a source of um, inspiration to to during during the post production period, which has been which has been difficult and, and challenging. Uh, so that's my answer to it. But it must be easy for you guys because they all love you, right? Don't they? The, the, you know, the Twilers love you, so that's easy to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> well, arguably. <laughs> 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 no, it's very, uh, no, they are. They're, they've always been. There's, there's never been any pressure from, from anyone, I don't think. I mean, other than right at the very beginning, before the first film came out, I mean, People, I, I think they like they like being part of the club as well, and I think they uh, they kind of mobilize against uh, against people who criticize the whole series in any way. So I think they like they, they like it being that film. So they've always been very supportive of anything to do with it. Uh, there's a question. It's Simon from London Light. Robert, the new Vanity Fair paints this picture of your life as being trapped in hotel rooms. You can't go anywhere. I wonder if that's greatly exaggerated. And is the Taylor mania kind of taking a bit of heat off you this time? <laughs> <laughs> no, it is. <laughs> great. Um, no, I mean, it, it's funny because these, these interviews, I, I never really had a huge, an enormous amount of foresight in interviews. And uh, so I'm doing sort of describing more my day <laughs> rather than uh, the, the surrounding months. But, so I think when I did it, we were. I was, I was kind of trapped in a hotel room when we were shooting the last one in Vancouver. But you know, there's always there's always ways, there's always places where you can, where you can disappear to. Um, it just involves a little bit more thought when you can't just wander around really nearly. And do you mind that? I mean, are you okay with that? Is it a price worth paying? Well, I mean, I'm, it's such a novelty to me still, so I, I don't really... I mean, if I'm still stuck in hotel room in, in, in 10 years and I haven't figured out any other way to deal with that other than hiding, they uh, probably would annoy me a little bit, but I mean, I'm still, you know, I'm, if you're just working the whole time, you know, I'm, I'm going from press tour to, to movie to press tour, so, um, yeah, I don't really think about it at all, I mean, I, I guess I'll see what it's really like in the next two or three years. Um, Anwar, do you want to ask a question? Yeah, Anwar Brett, Focus Magazine. Question for the cast members here. Um, is there ever any issues of you becoming very proprietorial of, of these characters that, after all, do exist in another literary form? I mean, you've played them over two films, and are you making choices now that don't necessarily accord with what the, the author wrote? Um, no. I, 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 everyone knew what they were getting themselves into initially, even though we weren't aware of, you know, the, like, massive attention that it would get. The books were written, and, um, and we're all still doing the movie for the same reason we started doing it, so, uh, this, the story, I mean, all we want to do is tell the story. All we want to do is, 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 is do the books justice. And do that's what the fans want to, so. mm. Do you talk to Stephanie much about, about the characters? I did a lot on Eclipse for the first time, actually, um, and I think that's just because she was on set more. Uh, she she paid us visits uh, occasionally, but it was always so quick; we never had time to get um, in, in, into anything.